here to announce my return back to Instagram. Now, over these past couple of days, you guys have seen some pretty intense things. I understand what they are and I understand what they look like. But I'm coming back to announce, I'm not going to speak on any other topic other than boxing, sports, and my fight. That's the only thing I'm going to be talking about. And uh, I'm training for this fight. I want everybody to know this fight's still on. 420, five weeks of super focus. I have PBD helping me in this camp and many other warriors. So I thank you guys for the support. And I'll see you guys on 420. Yeah, yeah. Big J TV, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Definitely like the video comment and subscribe i don't know if i'm gonna do this but i might put in a video of you know ryan garcia and andrew tate talking on their live might mess up the monetization i don't know i might get a community guideline strike you don't know what it is youtube is on that weird ish i'm not gonna play with myself okay but i'm gonna link things inside the description of my video by the way i really appreciate everybody who takes the time to actually like the video to subscribe to share to even comment man i really appreciate y'all so as y'all know or as y'all are maybe up to date ryan garcia has a fight on uh, april 20th 420 uh against devin the dream haney and why is this important because in the past week or today well not today this week ryan garcia uh has been putting a lot of suspect suspect to borderline insane things on his social media now you have to keep in mind that ryan garcia is a social media I'll, I'll say this. He's an either an addict or a troll. He's a bit of both. Okay. He is the type of individual who uses the modern technique of trolling and modern technique of creating controversy in order for people to get interest in him, whether they like him or not, in order to gain people to buy the pay-per-views. And once they buy the pay-per-views, dive some more money in his pocket now the thing about boxing is ever since uh floyd mayweather came in the game and was able to finesse boxing and uh, you know play with the public right in order to become a multi-millionaire billionaire status floyd you know the thing about floyd is that he didn't just do the antics floyd actually performed and Floyd actually got in that boxing ring, that squared circle, and put in work, right? And it might shock a lot of people, but Floyd Mayweather is constantly training. Floyd is a borderline 50 years old. He's training. Ryan Garcia, I believe, is not that skilled and talented, so he has to resort to antics. So let me get a little more precise. Yesterday, uh, Ryan Garcia was in a twitter spaces with andrew tate where he basically talked about and youtube don't clap my channel okay <laughs> because youtube likes playing games like that but he basically was talking about the uh matrix bohemian grove about you know the illuminati about all these cons conspiracy theory uh you know themes and motifs okay to us bro i don't give a fuck bro they held me down and they made me watch the little kids get raped i don't give a fuck anymore where bro they fucking took me to the fucking woods bro and they fucking tied i'm not fucking joking bro i have fucking proof bro i don't give a fuck bro i fucking will show you every fucking video you could ever fucking believe bohemian grove is real they fucking tied me down and they made me fucking watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a fuck anymore. Yes. He doesn't want to take us all. Now, I'm not going to get too deep into that because there's no point. This is YouTube. I might put some real commentary on my Patreon. Link is in bio as always. But this goes along with what Ryan Garcia did about a week ago where 
he went on his Instagram and pretended like somebody had abducted him and unalived him. Okay? So, what does this tell me? This tells me two things. I think that this pay-per-view is not selling. I think that this fight is not doing the numbers that Ryan Garcia expected. Specifically because Devin Haney is not, quote-unquote, playing the game. See... The reason that the Tank versus Ryan Garcia fight sold very, very well was a great pay-per-view and was overall, in my mind, a great fight is because Tank is actually very popular on social media and Tank is actually skilled, okay? Tank is actually, you know, Gervonta Davis is an individual who knows how to box and actually gets people to come watch because he's an entertaining guy. You know what I mean? And he's entertaining specifically what he does in the ring. Okay? He he knocks people out. You know what I mean? And, and that's always going to sell. That's just going to sell itself. Plus, Tank just has, you know, he, he, he has a lot of drama with him unintentionally, you know, due to the shade room and stuff like that. And he's just an interesting character, right? Better marketing behind him. But Ryan Garcia, because I personally believe Ryan Garcia is not really like that, like that. He has to do super antics, go out of his way. It's very, very similar to, you know, I'm going to say this and it's going to piss people off. Conor McGregor. If you look at the career of Conor McGregor, a lot of people have passed him. He's mid to low tier in MMA in terms of being a fighter. Right. So. He has to resort to doing antics. See, when he fought Khabib Nurmagomedov, most MMA fans knew that Conor would lose. Why did we know that Conor would lose? Because Conor was not in the mental state of a true great fighter. Conor McGregor was doing WWE antics in order to get hype and not only to use that hype, but to finesse that hype into actual pay-per-view sales now was it effective absolutely it was absolutely was because he didn't match up to that skill see when you're so focused on propaganda and selling the fight what ends up happening is you end up losing yourself and that's what's happening here with ryan garcia ryan garcia has been so focused on the selling of the fight that i doubt that he's really been training like that now If he has been training like that, then respect. Then I'm wrong. But I don't think he will uh, beat Devin Haney. I'm even doubtful that he'll make it to the Devin Haney, uh, you know, 420 fight. I think Adrian Broner might pull up in the back door. Pause. You know what I mean? But we'll see. Get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all think that Ryan Garcia really going crazy, crazy? Or um, is he right? We can talk about that really on my Patreon link in bio. Or um, is this all just promo? Is this just hype or is he really having a crisis, man? And by the way, who y'all got with the Devin Haney versus uh, Garcia fight? Get in the comments with y'all commentary. We'll be in there too. Like the video on y'all way out. Check out the videos on the end screen.